Hello, it's Abstract Amber here. You'll probably hear my dog barking in the background because I just can't get her to stop talking. Okay, so I am going to be doing like a ribbon pour on a 24 by 30 canvas. I have got, like I said, this canvas. Um, I'm going to take one of these out actually. Um, er, there. Okay. So I have this 24 by 30 canvas. Um, I'm going to be taking these cups and doing kind of like the sandwiching. I have Amsterdam white here. And then I have uh, black. I think it's a Liquitex. I have a Liquitex silver. Ooh, so pretty. I have the PBO gold 350. And I have a Creative Inspirations Copper I'm going to throw in there too. So I'm going to be doing sandwiching these paint. paint I mixed my paints today with Floetrol and GAC 800. So they have about one third GAC to um, about two thirds Floetrol. And then, of course, paint and okay. So some black. Whoops! Drop that right in my silver. Some silver. Some gold. A little copper. I'm going to add just a hint more gold. Because I just want some gold in it, you know. All right. Now. I'm adding my white. And I'm kind of covering this up because I want to sandwich it in. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So, I wanted to go over here though, whoops. I'm just laying it out in ribbons. Okay, so now I'm kind of giving this a little tilting here just to kind of move it and shape it. I kind of want a little bit of a swoop in it, so of course I'm tilting it. Oh my gosh, seriously, this is super pretty. Ooh, I'm telling you, it's 
sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you're so happy with your work. And let's just hope it stays that way. Oh, okay. It's a heavy canvas. Gosh, I'm freaking out. I do that. We're not gonna deny it. I do freak out. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna give this a little torching here. Doesn't need a ton. And then okay. All right. Let me get my white paint. Now I've got more white paint on the edges. Now I'm just gonna kind of. my white paint and I'm just taking and pushing my stick to meet this I had kind of got a little black paint down here, and so I'm trying to mask that. It's kind of neat because it kind of looks like tiger stripes. I had thought about putting some purple in here, um, but I didn't. I decided against it. And I, you know, I can do another one in the future with some purple. it's running under there Urgh. should have messed with that
Okay. I had to run that side off. So I think I've said in other videos, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, you always want to swipe, sorry, um, along your painting down here. Because if you don't, that paint that's running down is going to pull your painting off. Um, it's going to just kind of keep pulling at it. So you want to swipe this along a couple times. So these little spots that are kind of like got some black on it here, I can touch those up after it all dries. <laughs> oh, my hands are full of paint. Um, I kind of wanted it. Kind of, oops, hang on. Getting paint all over, guys. I'm in my living room. I wanted it more curved. Uh, I kind of ruined that when I had to pull it all off the side. I didn't want it a straight diagonal line. So let's see if I can get the weight of that to bring it down. I think I can a little bit. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. There. That's better, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Looks really cool. Okay, I'm happier with that now. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you guys, my hands are all full of paint. Um, hmm. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see if I can just do a little more tilting. Like I said, I'll fix these black spots in it when it dries. I kind of didn't want, well, maybe I did. I don't know what I wanted. Well, let's just kind of pop some bubbles here. And like these black spots that are kind of in here, I'm going to fix those when it dries. Um, so I'm not really trying to like bring out any cells. I'm just... You know, I don't even have a microphone on me, sorry. I'm not even trying to bring out any cells. I'm just, um, popping bubbles right now. Okay? I 
And I stretched it out enough that I think some of those cells that I wasn't really going for, I was able to kind of stretch those out and off. And I mean, there's a few, but it's not like it was major cell action because I didn't really want major cell action in it. It's very pretty though. It's beautiful. Now I mixed up all my paints earlier today right after work and then I just let them sit so oh, it's pretty okay so let's take you in for a close up I feel like the composition goes this way like this side is down on the bottom that side's up just because I like that's the way I like things to go so um here so come in, take a look at some of this. So here's my edge. It's just, I mean, it's pretty. Look at, there's the edge there too. Okay. And so it's shadowed there, but I'm gonna fix that after it's all dry. There's some little black spots. Here, hold on. Now look at that metallic and those colors. Um, there's some of those little black spots that just kind of got on there from that paint moving and I'll fix those again when it dries. There's another one. It's like a streaky little comet. It's a comet through there. Um, so here's kind of our details that we have. So pretty in through here and you can see those metallics are just so pretty and you have like a little bit of cell action right through here it's really kind of cool it just kind of runs in a little line um but it's not overboard and here right in there kind of just the way it moves is so cool so here you got up and through here and here's here's this side right here i might kind of pull that little spot right there down just a little bit because i don't like that okay look how pretty that is And here's like a corner that you can tell needs just to be touched. Look how pretty that is. Look at that detail right there. I like that. Oh, it's so neat. Like that copper in with that gold really turned out pretty. You see all those details swirling in through here. It's like little veins like a little bit of this lacing going on in here oh, it's so pretty. and then just like little hints of silver popping out right there at those cells but not too much and look at that that gold just like gosh coming through along that line see that vein that black vein with that gold just kind of swooshing mmm that's pretty it's like a delicious, it's delicious, you guys. Delicious painting. So here we have it. Okay. How pretty is that? 